Just doing a quick video. Going to do a couple of different cuts, I guess. Try and piece this together. Um, so what I have here is just my work shed. Got my chainsaw, helmet, gas, a bunch of chains up there. They're all uh, all all resharpened. I have about ten chains that I recycle through, and uh, yeah, I got to head into the back. There's a couple of trees that are down part way, and. Uh, in the process of preparing firewood. As you can see we've got a bunch over there. A bunch here that I've been doing. And a whole bunch more here. Some stuff I did yesterday. So essentially each one of these maps to about a tree. That's about a face cord, give or take. A trailer. And where I'll be going is in there. There's a couple just see the branches on an angle there. Those are the ones for today. It's my uh, workout that I do in between coding. I realize that for a lot of you this might be new. So this is a chainsaw without the chain on. This is the bar that the chain runs on. And this cover on top of it and uh, this coil here is what's activated by this this is a brake so that's basically it it's just a motor spins around anyways putting on a new chain so there we have the bar attached and the chain on the chainsaw takes a gas two stroke gas here to mix down with an oil and then a chain oil here which is uh, this stuff and um, you also want to make sure you have more of this than you do gas they're set so they're filled uh, that'll run down here and then I put in this stuff here there's a little spinny guy here this just goes in there you have your uh, lock here on the chainsaw and that lock isn't enabled See that the this will spin. So these are the trees here. Pretty sure they're uh, beech. Might be maple. Some of them are poplar. The beech and maple is what I want to get. And uh, of course you have to play safe. So safety glasses, helmet, ear protection. Chainsaw gloves that have fiberglass on the end there. Chainsaw pants, as you can see here, where I cut myself, fiberglass inside. Chainsaw boots. This whole section up in the front here is all um, fiberglass reinforced and uh, steel toe, electrical. What the fiberglass is supposed to do, and it did do here, see it's coming out, it'll get stuck in the blade to try and slow it down. Um, Got to be really careful with these things. They're wicked sharp. Anyways, gonna get started. This is a uh, phase two, or I guess three. Um, I've now corded up those two trees. As you can see, the big root wad there, that's where it fell over. And uh, that was the ground that came up. Tree ends here. The other one goes down away bit there but then I got this other tree which goes all the way up that I think is a poplar just good for outdoor wood not good for indoor wood you now I got to move all this wood get my trailer and I'll pick it up and uh, get it over so I can do some splitting with it trusty saw off we go Okay, I got the ATV back here, the trailer, and there's my wood. So it's probably going to be two trailers. I'm going to try and do it in one. And uh, here we go. Step, I guess, three? Are we on three? Four? I don't know. Step something of my circuit training. So here's the trailer full. 
a little bit more down there. I gotta bring out. If you haven't figured it out yet, it's a, it's an awesome workout. It uh, just keeps me in shape. It's like Rocky when he had to go train in Russia. Yeah, 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 that's it. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to step five. The really, really cool thing about this trailer is that it has a, has a winch. Hard to do with one hand, but... Basically it allows me to easily dump that huge load of wood. start stage, uh, I forget what it is, five, six, um, log, eight pound splitting maul, and I'll probably use the axe, depending how hard this is, and uh, I imagine this will probably make about one and a half face cords. So, here we go. So as you can see, I'm done the workout. All the wood has been split and uh, pretty sure most of it's beech. I'm probably going to stack it just like this. That'll be the last step. I need to build some more uh, wood holders. don't have a bunch of them. As you can see the wood way over there, that wood is a poplar and some pine, mostly poplar. That's outdoor wood. It's not hard enough to burn inside, but uh, yeah, this is my uh, my workout. Huh, it's pretty good. Anyways, there we have it. A full workout. Got the wood all stacked. It's in more or less a teepee shape that will uh, protect it from the rain until I get the stuff back. And uh, that's a workout at base camp. There's the two dogs. I don't know what they're eating. <laughs>